Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Yesterday, we mentioned that Jesus performed miracles to help us with our faith. In today's Gospel, from St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 11 through 16, we see Jesus performing a miracle out of compassion. Today's miracle also had the effect of inspiring faith in his disciples and his followers. Faith is a wondrous thing. It takes us out of ourselves and opens a wide new world for us and inspires us to do and see things in a whole new light. For Christians, that light is Jesus Christ. Amen. Now before we hear today's gospel, let's pray with Father Gregory for understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, that all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened, the day after, that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her, When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Then fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up among us and God has visited his people. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow, and may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.